I want to tell you a story. A story about two sisters, Mary and Martha. Now, Mary and Martha lived in a village called Bethany. And they had a brother whose name was Lazarus. Now, Jesus, the teacher, the healer, was making his way in the direction of Bethany. But he couldn't get there fast enough for Mary and Martha because their beloved brother, Lazarus, was very ill. As a matter of fact, the people of Bethany were saying he was on his deathbed. He had lost an enormous amount of weight. He looked drawn and ashen. His eyes were sunken. The doctor, who was a specialist in this disease, said his T-cell count was at a record low. When Lazarus tried to sing the praise songs he loved so much, his voice was raspy, and the beautiful, clear tenor notes that once came so easily didn't sound like they used to. And his sisters had sent Jesus a message saying, hurry, he's failing. Please hurry, we're doing the best we can. But Jesus seemed to be taking his time getting to them. Mary said, I'm holding on to my faith. He'll be here. You'll see. But Martha said, that doesn't seem to me to make any sense. If he was going to get here, he'd be here by now. And anyway, the statistics say once you've got this thing, it doesn't matter what doctor you have, what miracle worker you seek out, once you've got this thing, it's only a matter of time. And as the story goes, by the time Jesus got to Bethany, the two sisters were in mourning, and they had already buried their brother. When Jesus approached the house, Mary ran out to him. She was distraught and confused. She said, we sent you word. They told us it would take a miracle, and so we sent a message for you to come immediately. And now, and she pointed to the gravesite where her sister was kneeling with her grief wrapped around her. And Jesus went to the graveside, and Mar Martha leapt up from her knees and stared at him. Her eyes seemed to say, why are you here now? What good could you possibly do now? My brother is dead. And Jesus slowly kissed her on both cheeks, and he said quietly, there is no death where there is spirit still living. And he stood over the gravesite and he said, I may not have gotten here when your sister said I needed to be here, but I'm here now. And I say to you, Lazarus, rise. And Martha stepped forward again and said, don't put us through this. We were foolish enough to believe in you. Don't make us go through any more pain. And Jesus, who had already learned how as a teacher, as a healer, to focus on what he was there to do, said, Lazarus, rise. Rise so your sisters can see that those who are imbued with the Spirit do not die. And Martha said, yet again, the time for miracles is over. Please leave us alone to grieve for our brother. And Jesus 
Jesus, this time, turned to her and said, my sister, hold on. First, let me tell you, I love you. Then let me take a minute to remind you about Moses. He said, do you remember what the people of that country, that country called America, were up against when God sent Moses to them? There was that man called Pharaoh, and he had an army occupying America from the north that he called poverty. And he had an army that he kept moving in from the south that he called addiction. He had infiltrated the entire country with a plague called racism. That man, Pharaoh, was so bad he had a three-headed monster cross the Brooklyn Bridge into New York City that he called homophobia, heterosexism, and misogyny. And do you remember, do you remember, my sisters, what happened to Pharaoh's armies? And the sisters, knowing this history well, were silent. Then he said again, Lazarus, rise. Rise so your sisters can see that there is no death when there is spirit living. There is no fatal heart attack or final stages of cancer. There is no fatal stroke. And for my angel, Doris Johnson, there is no succumbing to acquired immune deficiency syndrome that can render you lifeless because your spirit is alive. Because death does not win. It is life that triumphs. Lift, he said, lift your heavy veils of mourning. Get rid of your sad looks and funeral dirges so that choirs may sing your brother's songs of joy in the centuries to come. There is work to be done. Do not, do not, do not, do not, do not weep. 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 Don't you weep. Don't you weep. Don't you weep.
sister Martha, not tomorrow. Cause you see, it was Pharaoh's army, yeah. Yes, they did. They got tried.